Today, I'd like to share with you the story of Lilias Adi. In 1704, the coastal town of Torriburn in Fife thought they had a problem, a toxic witch problem. In the early 18th century, life was so short and uncertain that people turned to religion and superstition to explain their misfortune. Lilias was a poor woman in his 60s and she was accused of being a witch by a quite inebriated woman, Jean Bizet. So Lilias was arrested and imprisoned in Dunfermline. She was questioned, or should I say tortured, seven times over the following weeks. She finally confessed of being a witch and having had sex with Satan. He was wearing a hat, she said. He had cloven feet, like the cattle, she said. Lilias died in jail after her last interrogation. She might have committed suicide to avoid being burnt at the stake or maybe to save the last of her dignity. Lilias Hadi's story is one of thousands that remind us of the paranoia-induced frenzy of the time. When ordinary people, just like you, were being accused of being witches, perhaps they just had an odd birthmark, perhaps they were just unmarried women. So what's so special with Lilias Adi? Because she died before being tried and burnt at the stake, there was a belief that she could come back and haunt the good people of Torriburn. A witchcraft belief was that Satan could reanimate the worshippers after their death, so that could, they could come back, become revenants and fight the agents of the church. So instead, Lilias was buried in a humble wooden coffin on the beach of Torriburn between high and low tide marks. And then they added a large stone slab on top of it to prevent the devil to possess her body from rising again. That's what's so special about her story. It's the only known witch's grave of that kind in all of Scotland. The bones, which usually ended up in ashes, survived. Lilia's grave was robbed in 1852, and then a skull found its way to St Andrews University Museum in 1904. After the university photographed a skull, all her bones went missing. But in 2017, a forensic artist of Dundee University used the century-old photos to digitally reconstruct the face of Lilias Adi. And this is giving us a glimpse of the only known Scottish witch in history. But there are so many more tales of witches in Scotland that you can hear on our brand new Witches Tour. We hope to see you soon at the Mayor Cat Cross.